Okay, this is uh, just going to be a short demonstration video of uh, fitting 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi booster and wiring it onto the uh, Phantom um, DT7 transmitter. As you can see, I've already fitted the uh, little SMA um, aerial adapter onto this and uh, have been using this TP-Link um, antenna. Um, but uh, I've had the uh, little uh, BEC uh, arrive yesterday, so uh, I'm going to wire this in to uh, to set the voltage down from this uh, three cell 11.1 um, .1 volt uh, lipo battery down to five volts, which is what um, what this unit takes. And I'm just going to have to um, cut the charge plug off the uh, power adapter that it came with, solder that all through the BEC um, into this little baby and then hopefully that will all in turn work out quite nicely and uh, give me some pretty good range on um, the Phantom controller. So I'll get on with it and I'll uh, make a couple of wee videos um, uh, on the way through just to show you how we're going. Thanks for watching. Okay, well the first thing I've been trying to do is work out um, the best location for everything because there's a bit of stuff that needs to fit onto the back of the uh, controller and as you know, there's not actually a lot of space so I've been using a bit of uh, Velcro, a hook and loop tape um, to position items on the back. I think having the uh, transmitter right there and I'll have the battery fitted uh, underneath that also secured with hook and loop tape so they can both be taken off uh, at any stage without too many problems um, so yep first uh, first stage just setting things out uh, so that it all works this is the small uh, step down current uh, system that I'll be using I think they call the BEC this is from a ready-made RC in the United States uh, and that tiny little screw on there uh, is adjustable to uh, to turn the voltage uh, for anywhere from the input voltage right down to uh, zero volts and this is what I will be wiring this kind of in parallel uh, in, in series with which is the JST uh, connector obviously matching the JST connector on the end of the battery. I want to keep that on there. I don't want to uh, go cutting that off because um, that will render the battery useless for anything else. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I'm up to at the moment. Okay, so uh, just about finished soldering up the wires. This is the, um, the battery end of the plug. Uh, obviously, uh, this is uh, a bit of original soldering there, but this uh, splits the two uh, grounds off, um, which are going together on the uh, the plug here, and uh, the positive and the positive for the uh, for the uh, transmitter end. So I'll carry on and uh, show you. What so what I'm doing now is just testing the um, output voltage because I know it needs to be five volts. Uh, so just checking it on the multimeter and it's 7.05 so with just quite a simple uh, adjustment on the uh, back of the BEC I can turn that right down to zero if I wish test it again 5.69 okay couple of wee turns Five point three seven. I think that's close enough. Okay, this is what the uh, finished connection looks like between the um, the battery end and the uh, end that goes into the transmitter. Uh, I've just wrapped that in electrical tape, but it does have heat shrink on all of the joins. I just really put the electrical tape on it to keep any moisture off it, but also to protect against uh, the voltage adjustment screw being uh, moved and uh, increasing the voltage. The only concern that I do have is that perhaps uh, there might be a heat build up 
but reality, the, um, the, the Wi-Fi booster is only one uh, watt, so it's really not going to have that much current passing through it. I don't think it should be too much of an issue. So I'm going to plug it all in shortly and uh, see if anything makes a loud pop, and uh, hopefully it won't, and uh, all, will be, uh, all will be revealed shortly. And here's the final result of what could possibly be one of the ugliest transmitters that you've ever seen, but also potentially one of the more powerful ones. Uh, I have given it a test flight, uh, but uh, it's quite windy outside today for the Paul Wee Phantom, so uh, I took it up to 600 metres uh, distance, only about 90 metres altitude, and it performed uh, very well as you would expect. But um, like I say, I'm going to wait for a a slightly uh, quieter or well, less uh, less blustery day to um, to take it out and give it a range test with that transmitter on it and uh, just see how it really goes but I'll uh, definitely be posting those results um, on my channel so subscribe to the channel and um, uh, once I once I have the um, the results of the distance test uh, I'll stick them there and you can see for yourself and decide whether it's worthwhile making the same modification. Very easy modification to make. Uh, I just had to wait a little while for all the parts to arrive from various suppliers around the place and a little bit of soldering. But if you've, um, if you've done some very basic soldering then you're well qualified to do this. Thanks for watching. Bye.